Hello. Virgo, this is for you. Virgo is about the digestive tract, keeping things running smoothly. You need to do that in your life. It also came out Virgo. Virgo came out on you in six weeks or six months. You're going to see a, you're, you're, you're going to harvest your crop. And what I got out for puzzle time is it says bye, B-Y. Says bye. Say bye to bills. Bye to bills. Bye to wait. Say bye to thinking about having to worry about T H N K for thinking to have to worry about bills all the time. Bye to thinking about having to worry about bills all the time. Okay. It says pound. Bye to having to worry about thinking about having bills are going to be paid because Spirit's going to take care of that for you. And uh, and it said somebody that wanted to get chummy with you, no one can save this fan. And you're, you're going to be ruler is what it says. R-L-L-R. -L -L -R. That's what I take of that. Ruler. It was trying to say R L. L-R, that's what it's trying to say. You're going to be ruler, okay? And see here it said chum. Somebody wanted to just get chummy with you. It was this, it was uh, this fan. This fan of yours out here. Uh, nobody can save them. I'll put the A back with this. I had it up there together. No one can save them now. No one. See? No one. No. N-O-O-N-E. No one can save them now. Pam. Pam. Spirit said no one can save them now. They're, they're going to... This fan might have been coming up against you. And it says... And it said bye. They didn't think. This person, whatever they did to you, they wasn't using their brain. And Spirit said, you're not going to have to think or worry about how your bills get paid. Because Spirit's going to take care of that for you. So I hope y'all like how I did Egyptian Puzzle Time. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And hit all. Hit that little bell over here in this thing. And hit subscribe and you'll be notified every time i upload again and you'll always get a message from me okay virgo but something about he or she keeps on projecting various securities onto you so either you're doing it virgo or somebody's doing it to you but uh, it said you were a prostitute all around the downtown somebody might have said you was a prostitute all over the downtown or you said you said somebody was, but the Grim Reaper is coming to collect their soul in 15 days. And it said, we'll send their old drug friends to befriend you. So, in 15 days, they could be sending drug heads towards you, and they're trying to kill you with drugs. Are you listening? I love to help people. That's what I do over here, Virgo. And I love you, and I hope I can help you with something over here. Oh, and look what pulled out with you, Virgo. It says, you are a star, January babies. Woo! Maybe you're connected to Aquarius. That's my energy. Okay, Virgo, you know that. It says, I have a victory coming that's led by Spirit. He's shown me many things that has helped me out tremendously. Is that what you said, Virgo? But somebody wants to write uh, our words, you may be, Virgo. See what it says? Somebody might want to do that. Or you wanted to send that towards your person or something, somebody you didn't want. But y'all, spell work doesn't work too well. That's what we're saying. And, child, you all got snakes all around your eyes, dear. Dear, you got them all around you. And something about, don't let this man push your eyes around, put it in God's hands. Maybe that's what somebody did. 
And Mother Moon has heard all your cries and wishes. And on a full moon say, I stand in my power and I am a very powerful being. And you'll see how powerful you are. And where's all my apologies at? That's what Virgo's asking or Virgo's person's asking. And chemistry is everything and they want to wife you. Oh, could be a Virgo wants to wife somebody out here. Did you hear that, you guys? Or you already have a wife. Your angels gave you the gift of knowing how to grow a business without anybody's help with it. Thank thank you, God, for that. You need to say that. Say, thank you all for helping me grow my business by myself. You know, what I try to do over here, you guys. And here's the other energy it pulled out. It said, Virgo, this is about the fallen star, shame. I no longer hide my face. I step into my light with love. So maybe you're needing to step into your light, Virgo, with love and compassion for yourself. Five, 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 you need to change and, and stop feeling shame is what it's saying. Stop feeling shame because you got a shining star glowing all around you, Virgo, maybe. And this is, I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. You got to tell your truth, see? So you shine bright. And, oh, look, the diamond star come out. And this is your destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher self. That's what you're needing to focus on, okay? Okay, Virgo, and... And I pulled out these three cards, and it says... Uh, Nimue, and this is about respecting yourself and others. This is about building up your self-esteem and your confidence. And and you, so you can bring about opportunities into your life. Maybe you're trying to magically make an opportunity in your life. You are, because magic pulled out. Here is a... Morgan Le Fay, this is about maybe prophecy. Something's fated to happen. Uh, you use your intuition about magic, maybe. Uh, maybe somebody had did magic on you. Maybe somebody did black magic on you or something. But, uh, uh, you know, you found truth. You found truth. And you're somebody, or your person is, Virgo, that's connected to source. And they've helped you to gain clarity on all these situations. And let you know about your co special connections with the universe. That's what spirit wants us to know, you know it. But, uh, hang on. And then it's got, I pulled out these twin flames in Ascension. And this is about one, one, you acknowledge and take responsibility. You need to take responsibility for how you show up in this world, Virgo. And you need to speak your truth and express yourself. Now, I flip through every one of these cards for you, Virgo. I don't do false, fake shit. I do it the right way. I f let the spirit flip it out. You know what? You're a chosen one, Virgo, or your person is. You both are, and you're all on a fast track to ascension. You know, ascension means you're wanting to ascend to a higher level of consciousness and ascend back to uh, to heaven. Some people believe. I'm telling you right now. Now, don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what others believe, okay? And that's okay. But I just seen this spiritual union, two of cups. Uh, and I also saw this. Um, the servant came upside down for you, Virgo, and maybe you're using the lack of money as an excuse to not move forward with your, with your life. And, you know, but you have the ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. Maybe that's how you need to. And, you need, and maybe you're a mystic, and this reveals an intimate union with the divine, you know. You need to maybe, maybe someone is scared because they ain't got money to move forward to being a mystic storyteller. You know what I'm saying? But it's telling you in six weeks you can harvest your crop. Hang on, let me get all these. And the law of attraction, this is each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. So ask the angels right now. Say, please attune me to higher frequencies uh, right now. And please align my thoughts with love, peace, and harmony. And they will. And something about your relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. 
to attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. Boy, ain't that true. You gotta have a connection to divine and God. It done tells you it's something about you're worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Reconciliation. Somebody from your past is trying to return, Virgo. They want to flirt with you now. They want to extend their light-hearted energy to you. And something about separation. Time apart for your partner is on the horizon. Look, our, you're worth waiting for. This is a past life soulmate that wants to flirt with you and you all been separated from each other now is this helping you virgo there's somebody around that you might already be in a commitment and somebody from your past is trying to mess with it and your angels give you the gift of helping people to quit their addictions because you've been through it and can guide the people to the clean up their acts for their selves and their children that's why angels give you gifts somebody's watching me Angels are supporting, protecting you right now. Deep tranquility, love of peace, a sign of abundance, coming, peace and happiness. Leave your comfort zone. Love it, love it, twin flame. Woo, I love you, twin flame. Leave your comfort zone. Take new directions and or begin new projects on the right path towards your dreams. 12-12. I think that come out in my reading, Aquarius. Your angels gave you a gift of gab. You can make any conversation turn from dull to hilarious. You make light of many different situations. See? That's why Spirit loves you, and look how much. Look what else. Now look. It's telling you to retreat. You need to go within somewhere, maybe in your hiding hole, you know, and retreat by yourself at the moment. And you need to practice forgiveness with yourself and others. That's what you need to learn, to forgive yourself and forgive others. The hardest is going to be forgiving yourself. Because that's the one it takes the longest to get over. You know, it is. It is. Oh, and you're going to have grace shed upon you from the divine. Uh, grace is just going to be beaming all over you when you learn to let go. Let go of these things that you wasn't forgiving yourself and others of, you know. And that's the only way grace will come. When you understand empathy and you place, their, place yourself in their shoes, that's the only way. And it's hard for some people to do that, but you got to do it because divine intelligence is warning you right now to do it. This is uh, being brought to your attention right now. You're very intelligent, and it's coming into your life. you got a lot of damn knowledge, and you think you don't, but you do. Okay? That's what it's wanting you to know. So it's coming to you. And right here, look. This is about your psychic strength. Maybe you, maybe you know how to shield off energies, people's energies, but it, maybe you wear a talisman. And maybe you practice a gold light around you. Maybe you're the golden child. That's what it's saying. That's how you get your psychic strength. This is about your whole self-health. This is natural therapies, balance, Ayurveda, eating all them ripe vegetables and fruits around, see? Uh, this is about taking time out, siesta, recharge, rest. See, it told you earlier to to retreat. That's what it's talking about. And then here we got screen mirror projection. Remember projecting? Didn't I read that from something else a while ago? But you know, you're all mirror each other. You know, it's. If you're insecure, your person's insecure. If you're feeling fears, they're feeling fears, you know. You're all sensitive to each other's energy. You can hold an object and pick up what their true energy and intention is, you know. it. That's how you're sensitive to messages. Every time when you all get this heated, heated, passionate, argumentative state and projecting, yeah, it's sensitive. It makes your body sensitive to it and the messages. And you're more in tune of what that person is really feeling. What you're really picking up on. That's what it is, you guys. Did I already have some of these? Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Hang on, you guys. Well, I'm going to get one of these little messages for you all. What's one of these little messages for Virgo? Virgo, his thoughts. 
So maybe there's a Virgo man and his thoughts about going to court. Or going to court over something. Oh, about a theft. So it might be some Virgo that's scared that he's going to have to go to court because he might have stole something from you. Stole something out of your living room. You're going to receive a gift. Maybe you're going to receive your money back from these people that stole from your fucking ass. Oh, and it said, it come to light. Something has come to light. Uh, see the sun. And this is about the journal. This is about your story, your study, and discovering. Maybe you saw the light that you all got to... That you have a path, you know, uh, you got that has to be told, and you're going to receive... This man is scared about, he's going to see sad news about a little child. Maybe, maybe they got a child you didn't know about or something. The house and gentlemen. This is something's coming to your residence or property, domesticity. And then we have the gentleman. And this is about, maybe this is your partner, uh... This is a male, a man figure in your life. You're going to receive sad news. And maybe it's you and your kids are going to receive sad news about a gentleman. It said, I don't know where that damn card went. I know it flipped out one, but I don't see it, you all. I don't know where it went. What else? Oh, unexpected money. Unexpected money's coming. Unexpected money. Why is he receiving unexpected money? And success in love. We're getting overall in challenges. Huh. So what? Uh, Somebody is up in their thoughts. This man around you, they can't get something out of their mind. And it's something about the courthouse. I'll tell you what it is right here in a minute. And something about a theft. That might be why they got to go to court because they're a damn thief, you know. And they've been stealing from you. And they've been stealing from you right out of your living room. And you would have never guessed it, you know. But what they didn't know is you received a gift. And that gift could have been from the divine to show you and wake you up. Hey, this person's fucking taking from you, you know? That's what it might be doing. And, uh, I know I'm not taking nothing from anybody, and I've not received any money, but I know one thing. If somebody stole off me or my partner, that is a Virgo, you yeah, know, they better... We received the gift from Divine to put it all out. It's okay. It'll come back to us. Oh, it come to light. It come to light. Something got to illuminate it to you. Uh, maybe in someone's journal or somebody's story or study you're discovering it come to light. Maybe you heard a reading and it rung truth to you. But anyway, somebody's got sad news coming to you. Sad news. And you and your child is getting ready to receive sad news. And it's, it's coming to your house, to your property. Uh, and it could be about this gentleman. Something happened to this gentleman. And uh, what it's saying is you're going to receive some unexpected money and you're going to have success in love. Something might happen to somebody out here, but you're still going to be successful in love. And this, this might have took a barrier and an obstacle out of the way, a challenge. It's been, you've had to go through a lot of challenges and Spirit said you're, you're uh, very much indeed can have this blessing that's what it said okay and i love y'all and uh remember to keep using your psychic strength and acknowledge and take responsibility for what you did and respect each other and respect your opportunities that come and have confidence in yourself virgos because you have divine intelligence metatron is helping you this is a good and metatron is helping you give you knowledge honey metatron raphael's giving you empathy Gabriel's giving you grace. Jophiel giving you forgiveness. And Raziel is telling you to retreat, retreat. Now look, ain't that something? Pay attention to all these messages now. It 
this one is telling you. That's what I was saying to you guys. And I love y'all. And if you love how I do this, would you please help me out there, Virgos? If you watch this far and you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. Just hit that bell and hit subscribe and hit all. Push, push, and push all. Then you'll be notified every time I upload, okay, you guys? That's all you got to do, all right? And I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful uh, evening, night, day, whatever it is around you. I hope you, you know, I wish you well, and I hope that you prosper on what you guys do. And I appreciate you all, and I love you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace, peace.